figure this out, you are not going to be successful in any area of your life. You're not going to become the player that you want to be and you're not going to achieve your goals. This really is the foundation of your success. And I strongly believe that self-belief and self-doubt are both choices that you make. If you're nervous, you're unconfident, you panic all the time, you have to take responsibility for that. And you have to understand that you've chosen and you've accepted to be unconfident and to be nervous. I know that may seem harsh, that may seem like it's not totally in your control, but that's the problem most players have. They feel helpless. They feel that my lack of confidence and my nervousness and the reason that I don't believe in myself all the time isn't my fault. It's just something that's been put on me. And if you have that mentality, you'll always think that way. So understand, you are responsible for the thoughts in your head. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. I can't get inside of your head and change the way you think. I can only give you advice and give you ideas on what might work for you. So you're responsible for your thoughts and you need to change them. If right now you're currently choosing to doubt yourself, you're currently choosing to get nervous before games, to panic when you have the ball at your feet, that is your fault and that is your responsibility. The good news is you can change that. You can take responsibility for your thoughts and instead of doubting yourself all the time, you can start believing in yourself and you can say, I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to do the best that I possibly can. I can do this. I'll figure out how to do this. Okay, so self-belief is a choice. And the only reason that little voice of self-doubt in your mind is so strong is because you've never tried to stop it. You just let it overcome you and now it's affected the way that you play. So anytime that little voice pops in your head and says, you can't do this, you're not good enough, you need to reframe it. You say, yes, I can do this. And even though I'm not good enough today, I will become good tomorrow, good enough tomorrow. So that's the mentality I want you to have. I can do this. And even if I can do this, even if I can't achieve my goals today, even if I'm not the player that I want to be today, I have all the tools necessary to become that player. You are responsible for your improvement. You are also responsible for your confidence. I'll give you some examples. You're going into the game, you start to doubt yourself. You're getting nervous, you're panicking, you're stressed out, you feel like everything is gonna go wrong and you're just thinking about letting your teammates down, the coach yelling at you and making mistakes on the field. You're not believing in yourself. Well, guess what? That is your problem. And that is the result of your thinking. You've created that scenario for yourself. Now it's your responsibility to change it. So in that situation, before the game, if you ever start to get nervous, it's your responsibility to say, no, I can do this, okay? I'm responsible for my thoughts and today I'm going to be confident. Today I'm going to believe in my ability to play well and to play my best. You may not be the best player on the field, but you can believe in your ability to at least give your best effort. And that's all that you can do. So when you start to get nervous, just tell yourself to relax. Tell yourself, I'm just gonna focus on my game. I'm going to play my best. I'm going to do everything that I possibly can. And everything else is out of my control. So let's enjoy this, let's have fun, and let's just work our hardest and give our best. Everything else, doesn't matter and if you just go in with that mentality you start talking to yourself with that perspective you are practicing self-belief so every time that voice pops up i just want you to realize it to notice it and to change it realize that it's a choice you've been thinking that way for years now you can start thinking a different way today i'll give you another example Players send me messages all the time, but some players will send me messages and they'll say something like, hey, my ball control really sucks. Can you give me some tips and advice on how to improve? And they'll send that message and then they'll just sit on their ass and wait for me to get back to them. And because I get so many messages, 
I might not be able to get back to them for a really long time. They might even send me another message in a few weeks saying, hey, I really want to improve my ball control, but you haven't responded to my message yet. <laughs> and again, they'll be frustrated with their lack of ball control. Now the problem- If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Now the problem is not that I haven't responded to them quickly enough. The problem is they haven't taken responsibility for their own development and they don't believe in their ability to improve themselves. You need to remove this mentality and you may not have it to that degree, but you may have it a little bit. So I want you to squash this and this is what I mean. You are capable of improving every single skill that you have, every physical trait that you want to possess, every mental weakness in your mind. You have the ability to improve on all of those. So for example, if you want to improve your ball control, well, what are you waiting for? Get a ball, juggle it as many times as you can for as long as you can, go pass it against the wall, go on the computer, search how to improve ball control, get as many ideas as you need and put those ideas into action. Do you think that I sent emails to professional players and asked them, hey, can you help me improve my dribbling and shooting skills? No, I believed in my own ability. I was not a great player. I was not an exceptional player when I was younger. Yes, I was good, but I wasn't the best. And I had the desire to become the best, at least in my city, at least with the players that I play against. So in order to do that, I had the belief that I could improve all of my skills. I had the belief that I could improve all of my physical attributes. I knew I could become stronger, I could become faster, I could shoot harder, I could dribble better, I could run longer, I could do anything I wanted to as long as I did the research I searched for the answers and I didn't focus on my problems and most importantly I put in the work required to develop the skills. So understand, I want you to believe that even if you aren't good enough today, you can become good enough tomorrow if you just make the choice to believe that you actually have the ability to do so. So now that you've watched this video, you must accept that self-doubt is a choice. If you're currently unconfident, you're doubting yourself, you're getting nervous all the time, you're panicking, you're stressing out, you don't believe in yourself, that is a choice that you've made. You've chosen to think those thoughts and to let those thoughts keep going in your mind and bringing you down. You need to stop that. You need to change every negative thought and make it positive. You can start believing in yourself today if you take responsibility for your thoughts. And remember, even if you can't do something today, believe that you can figure out and improve upon yourself so eventually you can do it in the future. Every situation you go into, tell yourself, I can do this, I can at least give my best effort and whatever happens out there, I'm going to learn from it. Self-belief is a choice, confidence is a choice, nervousness and a lack of confidence are also choices. So my question to you is what choice are you going to make? Every time you step on the field, every time you get faced with a hard situation in your life, what are you going to do? I know you're a good player, I know you've got the right mentality, you wanna achieve great things, so you're going to make the right choice. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.